Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. I hope you all having a great summer out there. As usual, we're going to take a look at uh, all the measures including gold and oil. So while I roll the intro and disclaimer, please hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, a quick look at the calendar and as you see nothing on the calendar Monday and Tuesday uh, the first event going to be on Wednesday when we're going to have the CPI quarter quarter from uh, Aussie we're going to have the FOMC also uh, on uh, Wednesday Thursday we're going to have the German prelim GDP quarter and quarter advanced GDP for the US and Friday manufacturing PMI from China and uh, GDP month of months for the CAD so Typical summer trading, not much of events on the calendar um, to uh, keep an eye at. Uh, we're starting with the charts as usual with the Dixie and we are on the weekly time frame. And as you see, uh, the Dixie is still uh, bearish after the break of this structure. We've got um, a nice lower high here at this area. And uh, last week we had a break of this level, a break of this level, and this whole structure got broken as well. So uh, next um, uh, key level for the Dixie to, to test is uh, down here at around this area. We do have the 93.80 level to keep an eye at since it is a strong weekly a close then there is probably a continuation toward this level so dollars um, to continue being bearish and uh, the next um, level to watch uh, as i said uh, uh, around this area is the next support so what we're looking for is now after this strong push to potentially have some kind of a correction to then look for a continuation the question is how far of a correction are we getting is it just a small correction toward um, 9515 to then look for a continuation or is it a deeper correction which probably going to be at around uh, the monthly s1 or uh, 9560 67 up here to then look for a continuation so uh, looking to sell the rallies on the dollar um, unless we start uh, seeing a, a strong reversal it is still a bearish market oil uh, going uh, still going sideways at this area crawling a little bit uh, to the upside but if we look on the uh, daily chart here we see that we, we start having a uh, pretty nice uh, divergence a bearish divergence on the rsi 200 moving average still um, right there just above the where the price is testing right now and if we look on the four hour time frame last week we had a nice um, potential uh, double top here uh, and uh, it is actually a, a confirmed double top we because we we broke and we see that the, the neckline here was broken and um, yeah still going as i said sideways uh, resistance is 40 to uh, 40 to 50 up here as far as there is no break above this level it is a sell area next support is around monthly pivot point this is the the first support level this down here is the second support level so i would keep an eye on the on these two levels let's mark this one as well as a potential support area down here this uh, swing low here and as i said uh, the neckline is broken now so uh, after this um, after this uh, double top here uh, looking at this area we've got a uh, broken neckline uh, and uh, retested the 200 moving average on the one hour is holding the price uh, at the moment but as I said if they fail to break higher uh, the next move gonna be potentially back down toward monthly pivot point okay for this market to keep moving higher it need to close strongly above uh, above 42.50 and uh, above the 200 moving average if that would be the case then we start looking for uh, more continuation to the upside but as for now as far as that is acting as resistance and with this bearish divergence on the daily I'm uh, looking for a potential uh, correction to the downside first gold going like crazy guys and i've been saying for like the last six months if you go back to my weekly overviews you're gonna hear me saying 
by the dips and uh, keep an eye at the 1800 and then we start talking about the 1900 if we look out on the higher time frame we uh, ah, the last price we had on this chart at least is from uh, 1998 when uh, gold was at around 280 and uh, since then gold did a major move to the upside a nice correction and then started a continuation move so what's next is the question are we gonna break this and continue higher there's people talking about 10,000 for gold who knows but what we know for now is that uh, 19 uh, 20 25 up here is an interesting level uh, it is the the, the old all-time high and uh, we probably gonna see some at least profit taking at this level uh, which gonna make a short-term uh, correction uh, for gold probably um, so keep an eye on this uh, level here I think uh, the bulls will not uh, get satisfied where the price is right now they gonna tag above previous high for sure and uh, then we gonna start having uh, some kind of uh, probably bearish uh, defense at this area so uh, wait for that uh, and then we should start looking for a potential uh, uh, reversal or a correction i mean it been moving uh, like a rocket since down here yeah and especially here at the end things start getting very fast so we, we should not be buyers if you're not but if you don't have longs already you, you don't buy here you wait for some kind of a correction and the least correction i'm looking for here now if after the break of this level and this level at around 1800 is uh, at least a correction back down toward the uh, 1800 area toward this broken structure that the least that we should be looking for so keep an eye on that area looking on the four hour time frame we start uh, we we do have this channel and we do have some kind of bearish divergence on that channel going down to the one hour time frame you see it more clearly the bearish divergence started already here and uh, it is still there so what i'm thinking is that we're gonna keep moving higher until we tag that previous high that i showed you on the weekly time frame to then start looking for potential correction as soon as this uh, channel is broken to the downside and then uh, we can start looking for that correction to happen and you could actually trade that correction because if if it happens it's a um, hundred hundred twenty dollars correction that i'm looking for here so keep an eye on that scenario euro usd looking on the weekly time frame as well we see that the euro did break above this range and this range is not which uh, a normal range if we look left here we see that the price been uh, trading inside this range before the break uh, here before the macron gap before that all that uh, we had this old channel here that got broken and then the price went back below it and now we are uh, seeing that the price did break and close above major level that um, area up here and above this level and uh, nothing left on uh, if we look left here there is nothing on the way until we reach this uh, previous high here so that is what I'm thinking is the potential area that the market uh, gonna move toward um, and that is one the 1.18 area so after this break uh, potentially we should be uh, looking for some kind of correction uh, the same as we had here probably hope it is not um, uh, as long term as this one but it is we we, we entering august and uh, things may start getting slow but um as you see here we had this impulse we had this correction and now we have another impulse which is going to be an a b c d continuation here the question is where to buy you don't buy uh, after such a huge move so we need to start looking for those corrections to um, to happen first to to buy the dip i think the the first inter level of interest for me is around here at around 1.14 uh, 50 1.14 gonna be a potential um, buy area if the correction happened would the price keep pushing without any correction toward this previous high well that might happen but i don't feel comfortable to buy to that so what i want to see is uh, some kind of a correction if not a correction like this uh, all the way back down 
at least some kind of um, bullish flag something like that to start happening okay otherwise right now it gonna feels like we we are chasing the price of course if you are not already uh, long probably you are already wrong and then you are good just move your stop losses and wait for the market to show you what direction it is moving toward uh, sterling usd this pair did not uh, do the break uh, above previous high so euro did break above this uh, previous high but the sterling did not do that but if we take a look at this chart actually i'm gonna go to the monthly time frame and look where we are at uh, since uh, 94 is the last price we had we we saw this whole dip happening correction 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 another dip and then we start going sideways with brexit and everything so the pr this down here was our all-time low acted as support and then we had during the corona uh, crisis we had this strong push to the downside which got uh, rejected very very strongly if we look at this week so, so this this support level is still one of the most important levels uh, for the bears uh, to defend and they did defend it and the price uh, went back above it did a retest and a continuation is ongoing going back to the weekly time frame we see that after this uh, push to the downside the price went inside give you a higher low another higher high another higher low and we start uh, making this uh, trend to the upside which is uh, what we should be looking for this uh, higher lows here and um, yeah right now testing previous high we uh, I went long uh, last week and uh, we had a nice run here uh, on this um, on this market and what I'm looking for here is uh, the break of previous high we need to see this uh, level broken for that continuation to happen so that is what I'm watching on this market we go down to lower time frame which is the, the four hour here we see that we still have these higher lows happening um, equal highs here and it is a signal that this market might building up for a breakout so what I want to see next week is a break above this level maybe on the four hour time frame a strong break like this then to look for a retest and continuation so bullish on this market and i want to see uh, first of this level broken for that continuation usd jappy also did a strong move to the downside so looking on the weekly time frame we see that the weekly did not close below this level so this is still probably a safe level at around 106 monthly s1 as well at that area so there was no break but it was a strong and bearish engulfing candle uh, daily time frame same scenario the price uh, did close back uh, at this support level no break below it so as far as there is no break on the daily i'm not considering this level as a broken structure on the four hour we've got a break of the level now this last four hour candle could be a potential profit taking after such a huge move uh, end of the week we could uh, this candle may uh, happen because of profit taking so keep an eye on that and for next week if the market failed to break higher which means making a high above this level if that gonna be a failure then we potentially looking for a continuation to the downside and uh, probably toward 105 105 is the next support level looking left this area at around 105 been acting as a nice support previously and uh, it may uh, got defended once again so um, i repeat if there is no break above this previous high on the one hour or four hour time frame if the market failed to do so then we're looking for a continuation move to the downside usd chief also uh, weak and uh, if we look on the monthly time frame we see that this market is testing one of the last line of defense here because uh, this structure here if uh, this area got broken there is nothing on the way until we start looking at this level this level and probably one of these so uh, looking further left this market been bearish for a very 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 long time with a, another uh, strong break to the downside to then stabilize inside this uh, range here so we st we've been inside this range since uh, 2011 
and uh, right now uh, it is testing uh, the, the last line of defense as you know guys any break below this would signal a continuation to the downside so keep an eye on this area here looking on the weekly time frame you see it clearly here how important this level gonna be so for now it is a support level as far as there is no break because previously we've seen the market testing this and bouncing very strongly to the upside each and every time so let's see what will happen this time so keep an eye on this level as a possible support but as i said if broken strongly then we look for a potential continuation to the downside on usd chief yeah um usd cat looking also on the weekly time frame on this one we see that uh, <coughs> after testing this previous high this market pushed strongly to the downside broke first level did a nice uh correction to then look for a continuation on the daily time frame we see also that we had this little range that got broken the market is now also trading below the 200 moving average on the daily to then reach the potential support level and the main reason for that is we looking left we see how many times this market been acting as good support and resistance area and uh, previously here as well so it is a uh, an important support level and that's why uh, on thursday we saw some rejection from this level so the bulls are defending this level the question is will they uh, keep holding this area or it gonna be a failure if they fail to hold it then we are looking for a continuation to the downside on this market potentially they may try to uh, push it higher and uh, if they fail to um, make a new high above this area here then it is still a bearish market and a potential continuation to the downside so keep an eye on the retest of this broken structure it might be just a retest and then continuation to happen on usd cat Aussie USD, we've been looking for a continuation in our trading room. So um, I was telling the guys that what I want to see is a retest toward this level before going long. And uh, that still did not happen. Let, let's take a look on the weekly on this one as well. So the weekly time frame, we still have a break above previous high. And this market did a nice push to the upside. We had a retest, uh, a correction, sorry, and a continuation. So it broke above this high and above this high on the weekly. That is a strong signal for the bulls for a potential continuation. Daily time frame, we had also a break and close above this level. And that's why I was looking for the market to give me a dip toward this area to then start looking for bullish evidence and continuation. I'm still looking for the same scenario here, actually. So we'll wait and see i will really uh, i would really want to see the market testing this level before any continuation to start happening so that's what i'm looking for and the same goes for new zealand usd they are probably um, they are most of the time uh, correlated and do the same move so after a break out of the range on the daily time frame what i'm looking for is the same scenario as um, Aussie USD so after this double top here we have a break of the neckline retest and continuation I'm still looking for that retest of the broken structure here to then start looking for a continuation to the upside so keep an eye on this level down here so um, yeah guys that was it for the YouTube version uh, of these videos thanks a lot and uh, see you next week guys bye bye